Uh, Sonny Cumbie, um, the head football coach of Louisiana Tech University. Grew up in West Texas town, Snyder, Texas, um, right in between Lubbock and Abilene, and uh, went to school, walked on as a football player at Texas Tech University, um, was there for five years as a player, ended up being a graduate assistant after I played the Arena Football League for three years in Los Angeles, and so um, that was really the path that led me into coaching. I had great high school coaches um, that, that really shaped and molded me, and I knew that I wanted to coach um, football, and so after I finished playing in the Arena Football League, I was a graduate assistant coach at Texas Tech. With Coach Cumbie coming from some big name programs like a TCU and Texas Tech, a place where he coached the likes of Trevon Boykin, thousand yard rusher Kyle Hicks, Jalen Rager, and Baker Mayfield, it would mean there's something really special about Ruston. The thing that jumped out to me about Ruston, Louisiana, when I first got here, were the people. Um, I think you can truly sense a discerning pe from your discernment of people who really love this place, um, who people who really are supportive of Louisiana Tech as a university, as an institution, and then also with the football program. With kickoff a measly 200 108 days away, what should Bulldog fans expect from a Cumbie-led squad? The fan base can expect a team that's going to play really fast, that's going to play really physical um, on defense. I want us to swarm around. I want us to create turnovers. Um, I want us to hold people out of the end zone in terms of red zone defense. And then on offense, um, I want our offense to be explosive um, in terms of in the run game, um, vertical run game, a vertical passing game. Since being in Ruston, Coach Cumbie's still without a favorite place to eat around town. You can't put me on the spot with that. There's so many good places to eat in the city of Ruston, um, and I'm looking forward to my family and I getting out and trying them all. I've tried a few of them, um, but but uh, they've all been great. They've all been really good, and that's one of the things that I've heard about is the food in Louisiana. Reporting for your weather station, I'm Stephen Pappas.